guys, welcome back to the studio here in Silverthorne. I'm um, being joined this morning by Steve. How are you this morning? I'm great, Patrick. Never it, felt better. Right? I love yeah, this just, cool weather. I know. It's finally starting to turn the leaves. You know, everything's like, oh, winter's here. This is right why we're schedule. all out here. Yeah, it is right on schedule. Uh, and this time of year is that time of year where you guys have now done this Wine in the Pines event. Now, this is the 36th year. That's amazing. <laughs> Hard to believe, knowing that... Uh, my wife and I were at the very first one 36 years ago. Wow. And that was strictly a beer tasting under a 10 by 10 tent. Really? And raising a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> and then we look at what it is today, you know, 35 and now into our 36 years. That's amazing. And, and the fact that, uh, you know, we were speaking a little bit, Keystone has hosted this the entire time. This isn't something that's had to find a new home or had to move around. Like Keystone has been there rock solid from you guys from the beginning. I'm not sure there's been another business or company within Colorado or even maybe the United States that has continuously held a benefit yeah. like this for a great fundraising uh, purpose. I feel like that that helps you guys as well because you can plan it year after year after year and know already it's going to be in the same spot. I can make my plans and I can really just make this a tradition. Exactly. You know, basically that third weekend in October. Yeah. This is the Summit County, Eagle County social event of the season. It it's is. time to get out your, uh, you know, your fine threads. Mm -hmm. In fact, this year we're sort of flipping and flopping it this year, whereas Saturday night it's going to be a Western theme, Western wear. Okay. So I, I didn't wear my fine Western threads this morning because, yeah, yeah. you know, it was uh, too chilly. So oh, it was very chilly. Just got a wool shirt on today. Hey, hey it works though. It's, I, I like it. You got the whole the whole vibe going. You got the the uh, really the insight into where this is going. Now I know it's going to be a good Western theme. Now is the right. uh, Western theme going to continue into the food or like what what goes into the food, the drinks? What's what can people expect? Well, we've got two events basically. Okay. We have our traditional winemakers dinner on Friday night, and that's a very elegant dinner at the Keystone yes. Ranch. You start off with uh, cocktails and champagne and hors d'oeuvres, and then a seven-course meal Whew. that's paired with different wines okay. for each course. Okay. And that's a sit-down, and this year it'll be a formal and semi-formal okay. uh, event at the Keystone Ranch, and anyone that's been out to the ranch knows what we can do out there. Oh, it's a beautiful Saturday place. night is a big wine-tasting event. Okay. We'll have over 500 wines available wow. for tasting. We'll have some craft beers. We'll have some uh, distilled liquors as well. Okay. And we'll have a live auction, a silent auction. We'll have entertainment. In fact, this year, we're excited about the Western theme. In fact, dig out your uh, diamonds and denims, lady. You're very best. <laughs> it's not too late. You still have a week yeah. to get that. Uh, and uh, we're going to have Mike Textagari doing some line dancing. dancing, And he'll be our entertainer this year. Oh, yeah. And for anyone that knows Mike uh, Degary here from Summit or Eagle County, they know there's nobody finer with a bigger smile than our favorite Canadian Mike DeGarry. Yeah, he's great, and they, they you saw a little bit on the uh, the site here, the uh, Silverthorn Pavilion. They do country lion dancing once a month. Uh, pretty sure that's actually tonight, as a matter of fact. Uh, so it's nice to have that to continue and, and really have uh, that good country western vibe and oh, really it will make it be. genuine. And it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, not only with Mike there, but the wine tasting. Yes. Uh, you'll see people you haven't seen in the county since last year at the same time. Yep. And again, it's at the Keystone Conference Center starting at 6 o'clock on uh, Saturday night. And our uh, fine dinner, our uh, winemaker dinner, starts at 6 o'clock at Keystone Ranch. Tickets are still available, too, and you can go on uh, wineinthepines.org. And you can either Great. buy the dinner, you can buy the Saturday evening Wine in the Pines event at the Conference Center, or you can buy a patron package. Okay. But uh, people can uh, still buy tickets online. Yeah, you have your own uh, options on whether you want to go to both or just one. That and, is correct. And really make a experience. And we understand, experience. you know, sometimes back-to-back -back events and you've got so many other things in your life. Yes. But, uh, boy, you've got to take in at least one of them. And if not, one of and if it's only one, it's Saturday night. Oh, yeah, Saturday night. It yeah, seems it'll like be Saturday night be. live with Mike DeGarry. Saturday night live with Mike DeGarry. <laughs> Great. Uh, so where, if people still want to buy a ticket, where where should we direct them? What's the easiest okay, way to Okay, you about can't that? buy them, uh, you know, Dylan Rich Liquors okay. uh, through Mike and Margaret Smith, who okay. started this event yes. 36 years ago. You can't buy them in the store anymore. Okay. So online, wineinthepines.org. Excellent. And that's key. We're, okay, at wineinthepines.org, definitely head over there. Uh, this is the event to be at this year, so make sure that you are there. Uh, really the who's who of the county, so go over there, have a great night of socializing. Thank you for sharing all your information and your knowledge with us, Steve, and we look forward to seeing you there. I uh, see you. I look forward to seeing you get dressed yeah. up there in your 
finest Western digs there. Absolutely. Thanks, now, Patrick. don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to talk to the town of Frisco after this, one of our centers of the county here. So don't go anywhere. We've got plenty more for you.